Let's learn how to paint liquids in vials today. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome back to the channel collectors. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to paint liquids in vials. So liquids in vials are found in many miniatures like blood angels, uh, scissors or battles, apothecaries, and many other things. You can even do that in some of the Nurgle Marines, and you can paint some of the liquids in the past. Alright, so I'm just going to break it down for you right now. So a vial of liquid consists of two components, the vial and the liquid. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to highlight the vial, but then we're going to paint the liquid as a gem. So if you want to check out the red gem painting tutorial, you can check out the link below. Alright? So okay. So between the vial and the liquid, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna need to highlight the liquid like a gem. So the light tends to collect at the bottom as you guys can see in the gems. Alright? So for the vial, because it's sort of like translucent, it's gotta be a dark color, so it's sort of like a reverse gem. But the thing is, light is collecting on the surface, on the top of the vial as you guys can see over here Okay, so we're gonna have a bit of uh, shine on that and then we're gonna have a glint The glint is we're gonna highlight the vial like a cylinder so that, as you know how to highlight cylinders we need to highlight it in a straight line as seen above here Okay, so if you're ready, let us begin So first and foremost, I'll just use Chimera Red just pure chimera red on black okay right now what we're gonna do we're gonna paint in the liquid lines all right so as you guys can see over here the liquid line needs to be horizontal to the model this is why i pasted on the entire valve onto the model before i paint paint this on it's always very easy to paint a straight line but when when the line is not horizontal uh, this illusion is not going to look realistic okay so you want to just follow through to the other side also just want to make sure that the entire red is an even coat so you guys can see over here okay What I'm doing now is I'm just going to make sure that the red is as opaque as possible. So I'll do this in several coats. Alright, so this is the result. The next stage, I'm going to use a bit of dark sea green mixed in with a bit of uh, Vallejo ivory. needs to be more dark sea, sea green so what we're gonna do here we're gonna highlight the top of the vial that is catching the light okay so as you guys can see over here I'm highlighting the top part of the vial you want to leave a bit of the black in between the red to show that there is a distinction of materials between the so-called blood and the the reflection on, on the vial. I'm gonna focus this vial highlight more towards the top and in a circular pattern. Right here I'm using uh, Chimera White to start drawing the reflection. Okay so the reflection uh, on the the reflection on the the red liquid you want to use a bit of black to thin down this reflective line okay so that it looks as good as possible the black can also be used to fit the the green so that there's a smooth transition so next i'm gonna shake down the the red liquid i'm gonna use a bit of chimera blue and red
and right here you just want to paint under the reflection line so that there is there is a gradation from the reflection line all the way down to the bottom of the vial you want to make sure that you maintain a little bit of this uh, reflection line so that the reflection line is really very thin you don't want this reflection line to be too thick at all okay so in the previous step we used black to thin the top part now we're gonna use this purple to thin down the bottom part okay so you want to be focusing on this the top part should be darker and the bottom should be lighter Alright. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna use a bit of ivory mixed in with a bit of red and a bit of orange. So this will be the highest highlight for this will be the highest highlight for the red liquid in the vial. Okay, you want it to be a high value sort of semi desaturated orange red. Ah, damn. <laughs> the scroll is blocking the, the image. Uh, you guys can see in the, the previous side. Okay, yeah. Now it's much better here. Okay, so you want to focus it just at the bottom. And to add a little bit of visual interest. You can also add a bit of bubbles which you will see me do in just a little bit. So as you guys can see, I'm trying to create a little bit of uh, texture by creating bubbles here. Let's forgive the lack of focus here, uh, the image will be focused in just a little bit. Okay, now just adding the bubbles here, see, just adding little dots. Actually, these dots are small and more focused towards the lower part why focus towards the lower part is because light is collected at the lower parts and more bubbles will be visible in the lower parts and now I'm using pure white to create the glint on the vial just highlight this as you would a uh, cylinder and also remember to highlight the little horizontal edges also. There we have it. So this is the final result. All right. It's looking very realistic here. So what do you think of this tutorial? Do you find it useful? If you did, please share it over social media, share it over your Facebook, and whatever whatsapp you have okay so please if you found it useful also please like subscribe hit the bell notification icon we post videos on mondays wednesdays fridays and sometimes saturdays and if you really want to support the channel i would really appreciate it if you head on up to our patreon and become a patreon today but if you can't become a patreon that's okay just carry on and yeah supporting us so patrons get early access to many of my videos and exclusive tutorials also, you guys also get to interact with me so that we all get to become better painters together. Alright, so I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you.